राजा दी राजा श्री श्री विजयदास चोला पधार रहे हैं श्रीमती राजा लक्ष्मी चोला पधार रहे हैं Alexander Padarahe hai. I have to play for this. Speak louder, can't hear you. Can't hear you. We can't hear you. Namaste everybody, I'm the Swami and I shall be showing our esteemed guests uh, our religious capability. <clears throat> but first, the mantra of the Chola Kingdom. And uh, if you could please repeat after me. Om Namah Cholaya. Om, Om Namah Cholaya. Aparyatam Tadasmakam. Aparyatam Tadasmakam. Balam Vijayastikam. Balam Vijayastikam. Pariyaktam Vidameshtam. Pariyaktam Vidameshtam. Balam Guptastikam. Balam Guptastikam. And that means our armies are insurmountable and the Gupta's armies are weak. Straight from the Bhagavad Gita. Dharma Cha Artha. Ahimsa. Dharma Cha Artha. Dharma Cha Artha. Dharma Cha Artha. Chaiva Kama Moksha. Sunny Dim Kuru, Kaveri Jalisman, Kaveri Jalisman, Sunny Dim Sidhyartam Kuru, Sunny Dim Sidhyartam Kuru, Chola Samasta, Chola Samasta, Sutino Babantu, Sutino Babantu, Om Namaste to Mahachola, Mahachola, Jay Shambo Shiva. Jai Shambho 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 Shiva. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. And that is a multiple of nine. The number of words in there. Yeah, thank you. You're enlightened? Good, good. I'm happy. The Chola Empire, just to tell you a little bit more, is one of the most religious and spiritual empires in all of India. Uh, just as you saw in the library, the Chola Empire had many books on religion and philosophy and had many, many scholars on the subject and also many, many monks and uh, sadhus who were uh, supported ve very uh, well by the king. So the, the religious aspect of the Chola Empire is very vast and very deep. tell you both of the history and of the future, for they're very linked. Um, the Vijayavala Chola incidentally was the first major king of the Chola dynasty. Um, there are around three major kings of the dynasty. Um, one of the 
the major ports uh, which you came in from, incidentally, was Kaveri Pumtakian. And it was located off the river Kaveri. And it was a major trading port, actually helped in exporting Hinduism to several other regions around the, around the, um, around that area. Um, other major cities included Madurai, Chidambaram, um, the capital moved from place to place. Uh, one of the major wars that we fought was against Patraputra, um, where he actually defeated one of the major kings. <laughs> um, uh, in the future, though, uh, the kingdom slowly lost power because after the, the three major kings, there weren't that many kings that could maintain the power that the earlier kings had, and slowly, uh, through rebellions and through just internal strife, there was a loss of power. Um, there were a couple of later uh, kings that were able to keep it afterwards, but I think in toward the late 1100s, the dynasty was finished. <coughs> This is both the history and the future <laughs> of the Chok dynasty. Very interesting that it's both science and future. <laughs> <laughs> this is something we have in the Chok dynasty. By practicing so Raja yoga, <laughs> Karma yoga, and Bhakti yoga, wow. I've been able to foresee. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Supremacy. <laughs> Supremacy. <laughs> woo, woo. Well, I really hope you enjoyed our, your visit to our kingdom. Are there any more questions you would like to ask us? Nothing but to say that I will be honored to pray for your country. Oh, yes. Our country, our dynasty, uh, our kingdom is one of the most famous uh, tra trading and most powerful trading ports in all of the uh, South India. So you are more than welcome to get greased all the way over here and we hope to give, give you our vocation to our kingdom.